Hello everyone, welcome to Understanding the Accounting System. In this series, I will um, walk you through your SUA Accounting System project and make sure that you're able to complete it and also understanding every single detail that you need to know about it. Okay. So first, in this project, there will be three major parts that you need to do. Number one, you need to complete the transaction posting. Basically, you have the list of the transaction that, and you need to record those transaction to journal and subledger. The second thing is you need to um, do the month end procedure. In this procedure, basically you reconcile your book and make the monthly statement. And the last but not least, you do the year-end procedure. In this one, you close your book and make the yearly statement. So good news for you. Typically, a typical accounting project will take about 25 to 30 hours to complete. Using this course, this will take you less than 10 hours. Next one, we will talk about the document that we will need for the first part transaction posting. So in the first part, you will need transaction list, which is the list of all the transaction occur during the period. The second thing is the price list, is the list of the cost and the price for your inventory. Number three, flow chart. It shows different accounting procedure that we need to follow. Number four, journal to recall any transaction that you might have and last but not least is subsidiary ledger to post item if necessary so for um, a side note if you look through the transaction list you will see that every single year maybe sometime every single semester there is a change in the number in the receiving good, shipping good, inventory, salary, um, and those little number different among transaction lists, right? And even in your own class, there uh, there should be a like um, section A or section B, or some, sometimes even section C and D that have different transaction lists. The same go for price lists. There can be a change in price and the cost of several items, right? So that's why I'm telling you this. After helping hundreds of students, I have hardly ever seen two same projects. There are hundreds of them out there. Unless you can find an exact solution for your exact SUA, um, you're going to waste your money. So... Um, you better do it yourself or find someone actually do it for you from the very beginning. Please do not waste your money buying online solution. Um, well, if you're lucky, you're not going to get a good rate. But if you are very unlucky, the professor going to wonder where you get guess, own those numbers that not following your transaction list and your price list. And well... Is you you risk an an FX on your transcript, so please um, do it yourself. This not only gonna help you to understand your SUA better, but also um, help you help to solve a lot of headache for you later. Regarding document for the month end and the year end procedure, basically you need to have the ledger. Um, this ledger that you use to close the account from journal at the end of the month. And then you have worksheet, um, basically a year-end worksheet to close account from ledger. And then you have balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement. And also post-closing -close trial balance. All of these usually extracted directly from the year-end worksheet. So, I want to share with you some important tips that will help you tremendously um, in your SUA project, first, please um, stop and try to understand what I'm saying in the video and maybe try to do it yourself and check with me later to see if you actually do it correctly. 
um, this way you force yourself to actually learn the material and well and you have me as a backup already so no need to worry if you get a good result or not right you always get a good result so um, that's the way you should learn it um, and in the video I will break down everything accordingly so that you have some time to actually learn how to do it the second thing is um, make sure you adjust the playback speed um, accordingly right um, sometimes for some people I speak too fast and for some people I, I speak too slow so just you know um, adjust it whatever you um, your preference is and next one make sure you use pencil because this is a big project and even me or any accounting professor um, if we work on some big project like this we're gonna make mistake right so it's help you a lot of time to erase um, things later and last but not least be persevere um, don't give up I will cover your back um, and also in this project I would prefer for you to work on it like um, three or five days a week not just in one day right so instead of spending nine hours in a single day make sure you spend maybe like three hours every day for three days or maybe two hours every day for five days so it can help you to um, have time to actually understand the material to um, be able to um, overcome it um, actually if you spend nine hours on a single day um, I think you're gonna spend more time um, even more because then um, it will be quite challenging to complete everything in a single day it just um, it's every everything good take time okay so that will be it for the first video and um, I'm so excited to move on to the next one yay well see you on the next video and thank you